All right, hello and welcome, guys, to the next episode of race number six here in Imola. All right, before we get into the weekend, back to our regular uh, weekend with three practices, qualifying, and a race. And uh, feeling pretty good about it because Miami wasn't too bad, um, even though we had a uh, pretty rough start to it. But uh, yeah, so red flag caused by, I believe, Lewis Hamilton, it was, um, sliding out in turn three of sector one uh causing us to lose a whole bunch of positions and then um i believe sergio perez spinning out in turn two almost causing another red flag but that one was a full course safety car and uh we elected to pit at that point and uh yeah so we ran a double pit well technically a double stop with the red flag but a medium medium hard uh, strategy and um, those hards actually worked pretty well for us uh, finishing that we uh, started in the very back towards the end of the halfway point of the race after that yellow flag and uh, coming back in p13 after some pretty good overtakes on those hard compound tires and uh, the downforce that we had felt pretty good especially on that long straight there in the back end of sector three but uh, without further ado we're here in Imola. We're going to go ahead and knock out practice, and we'll see you guys in a second during qualifying. All right, so uh, a little unfortunate here in Q2 as we get that interference from the Ferrari of, I believe it was Charles Leclerc. I don't quite remember, but uh, yeah, the Ferrari was in front of us on our final run, and uh, we could have gotten a better uh, time, but probably not enough to get us out of Q2. So um, before any penalties, we're going to be starting in P15 next to Kevin Magnuson. Here, Gasly and Esteban Ocon on the row in front of us, both Alpines. As uh, Nico Hulkenberg in the Haas gets knocked out of Q2 as well. But it uh, looks like both Aston Martins uh, make it into Q3. What, both Ferraris. Uh, Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, Aston Martin, and Mercedes are our five teams to make it into the top 10 shootout. So uh, we'll see how that grid lines up here when we get to the main event. Welcome once again to the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo e Dino Ferrari. The clue's in the name. This is very much Ferrari home turf, and the locals will be out in force today to support their team in what we hope will be a magnificent spectacle of motorsport. On then to the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 tracks as it's taken anti-clockwise. Let's hope nobody forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight on the circuit, and it's only DRS zone. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. 
Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Hamilton, Sainz, Russell, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Gasly, Magnussen, Johnson, Bottas, Joe, De Vries, Sonoda, and Logan Sargent. And now it's time to head down to the track. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. They've been involved in a number of costly incidents lately. That's got to affect their mindset going into this race. It's not an ideal situation by any means. When you get into a bad run like that, there's always a risk of frustration creeping in, which can cause more mistakes and locks you into this vicious cycle. Hopefully today they can get through turn one cleanly and stay calm for the rest of the race. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. And turn one is a ways away from us with an early braking zone. Alternate project, alternate uh, strategy projected. Uh, mediums to hards. Splitting 11 11. It is going to get a little cooler around our uh, pit stop. So that may take into effect. Uh, that may uh, allow us to stretch those medium tires. But we could go to soft medium. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play it safe and go with the uh, mediums to hards see what we can do. All right, not much to say after this qualifying. As we're starting here in P15. Uh, okay, good parking there, mate. Now we need to make sure we get a great... Could have gotten a better launch starts. here. A little bit closer as we're starting next to the Haas. As our five red lights are off, the McLaren of Lando Norris next to Vax Verstappen, Max Verstappen, as uh, Gazi tries to make a move, putting the hat and the other Alpine of Lettuce upon Ocon as he moves up to P10. As well, we're still sitting back in P15 here next to the hats as we drop a position against Valtteri Bottas. As uh, side by side there with Nick DeVries, he drops down, Sergeant following in behind us here on lap one. And uh, Sonoda all the way back there in the very back. Uh, everyone's starting to get single file as we come through to Sector 2 now. And uh, I thought about making a move on Bottas, but I wanted to wait here. As uh, see what we can do on these medium tire compounds. But, um, yeah, so Rebels are split with Lando Norris in P2. With Hamilton in P4. Leclerc and Sainz and both Ferraris up there in P6 and P5. George Russell and the other Mercedes 7 coming through the downhill section of Sector 2. Coming up to the chicane here in Sector 3. A little bit early on our braking zone because we don't want to come in contact with these guys. But we're hoping for a better run here on lap 2. Uh, took a little bit too much of the curb. As, uh, we lose a little bit of time on about the butt ass. We'll just start to throw about that half behind us. Um, he needs running in pretty well today for this race here in Imola. As uh, we run at the end of lap one. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. Moving on to lap five. We're on board with Lando Norris and the McLaren coming up behind the um, Mercedes of, I believe, Lewis Hamilton here. And uh, as we're coming up to the uphill section, Lewis, ha Lewis Hamilton still holding there as Lando Norris spins out. And it's pretty much pulling our first red flag of the race. As we can see, him, he's backwards and he doesn't want to move. He's stuck on the track. And we're swapping over to our cells here as we're coming up on Lando Norris. And uh, almost coming in contact with the Alpha Tauri, or um, the Alpha Romeo, and hitting the back of the hats. But uh, that's going to be a red flag. This is essentially a free stop, so let's think very carefully about our strategy for the rest of this race. All right, so an early red flag for us here in Imola. Because of the McLaren. I didn't get to see who it was. I don't uh, quite remember. We're starting now on lap 7. But, uh, they're wanting us back where to we were. run the rest and of the race. And we're about on the best start of out, out of yeah. everyone here. 
I don't know how we're going to feel about that. Aston Martin of Alonso. Um, the start hot two. weather will this, uh, deteriorate those hard compound tires. We make our position back up a little bit well. More. Sorry about that. I had to yawn there. Uh, the two McLarens up the Astri and Norris so we're gonna are go side by side in front of us. Go for it. Um, and if another yellow flag comes about left anywhere right within hander, that left hander here, eight, seven or eight laps, laps we will section. go ahead and um, swap Norris and Piastri to, uh, still mediums. sticking side by side as we try to make a move on the inside of Piastri. Or, uh, no and room there to have make another move on Norris. Of so, but uh, yeah, we try to say that the hard another yellow flag if we do get us run to the end of this race and hope for a pretty decent lap seven restart opportunity because we are not doing so great here at the start of the race. Let's get back. Holkenberg making a position on the him as he tries to. Hopefully make a move there, but we hold him off. And uh, sitting P11 um, on lap 7 here as we're coming up to the chicane. Getting a little bit better, a little bit too much curb that I wanted, but still enough to not really lose any time on this downhill section. But uh, Hulkenberg closing in on us on this downhill section. He's looking to make a move here. He takes the inside of that line, we take the outside, but it's the one I'm going. But uh, he has that ERS on us, and you can see that time frame on there. We lose a little bit of time on the Norris. And you can see Holkenberg there in the mirror on the right side coming up on us. As he is outside, he has faster tires with those mediums. And uh, we basically back out of that fight. We don't want to challenge him for that position. We don't want to have that uh, regret doing that and have it bite us in the ass later on. Uh, we're coming back up to the uh, up to the section of lap eight, but moving on to lap twelve, we are now between Holkenberg and Magnus, and you can see Magnus moving behind us, but Piastri has the momentum to make a move on us. Double position overtake here as uh, Piastri moves up to P12. We did lose a position as um, we're side by side with him, and we try to hold that position as best as possible. We have to give it up on the inside. Piastri up to P12, myself back in. 13 here. Yeah. yeah, so we're defending against Magnuson, but moving on towards the end of lap 12. And uh, yeah, we're running pretty good against Piastri here on lap 13. Try to make a move on the outside. We gain a position here, but that um, Bottas loses a position with Lance the Stroll there behind us as uh, we come out of this corner. A pretty decent gap on the left. And uh, these hard compound tires are working pretty well for us as we try to hold on to this position as best as possible. But uh, lap 19, we're still P13, and Hulkenberg makes a move on Ocon, but Ocon ends up having to retire the car. So you can see him there on the screen on the right side. He pulls off, and we have to retire. So we technically have no position gain here. P13 on lap 20, uh, 22. As he retires the car, and that's basically going to be it for us, finishing in P13 for this race. Take the checkered flag then here in Imola in what has been another outstanding Grand Prix. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? Well, this was won through an abundance of speed and skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath, we saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race to satisfy the purists today, I think.
Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Max Verstappen's excellent result today sees him take over as the new leader of the Drivers' Championship. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. Let's move on to the constructors, and Red Bull take over as championship leaders. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One, so be sure to join us for the next one. All right, so not a very exciting race here this weekend in Imola, as uh, that red flag didn't really help, and I guess our uh, tire strategy didn't really help, uh, seeing that those softs would have lasted us. Um, and then go on the mediums instead of the hards after the red flag. Uh, yeah, so pretty much a uh, wrong choice on our end. And um, yeah, so Logan Sargent is still one of the four uh, to not score any points so far this season. In episode six, as Esteban Ocon, Joe Granu, and Nick DeVries are the other ones uh, who have yet to score. So uh, William still sitting in P7 for the Constructors' Championship at 25 points, 10 points behind Haas, and... Um, yeah, not doing so great there as Alpine sitting in eight. Um, we don't have to really worry about Alpine, but, uh, try to keep up with Haas if we can on these next few races. And, uh, without further ado, we'll see you guys in the next episode.